Fred McGuffin, is going to give you guff on the little things. Yes, the little things. Hi, this is Fred. This is a spoiler discussion on the little things. Spoiler warning all the way through this. So I have a non-spoiler review on the little things. So go check that out. So I am um, going to give this a two. And it's nearly a three, nearly a three. So two really. Disappointing. Um, you've got a lot of star power in this. You've got uh, good director and writer. And um, yeah, it's a shame. It's a damn shame. It's a sad shame for me. Um, okay, first of all, we talk about the director. He's very confident. He's a writer, director, John Lee Hancock. He directed The Rookie. He directed The Alamo. The Blind Side, Saving Mr. Banks, very good. Haven't seen The Bl Blind Side. The Founder, haven't seen The High Man, enjoyed that on Netflix. And Mr. Harrigan's Foam, recently on Netflix, or currently on Netflix. So, competent director there. I mean, a lot of uh, decent movies. Uh, we have Denzel Washington. Uh, get bigger than Denzel Washington, brilliant actor. Uh, he plays Joe Deacon or Deke. And look, he's been in so much great, great stuff. I mean, The Equalizer One and Two, Flight, Glory, uh, Two Guns, Magnificent Seven, Book of Eli, Men on, Man on Fire, Training Day, Crimson Tide, Philadelphia, Malcolm X. I mean, that's just the tip of the iceberg. He's just he's done so much great stuff and Oscar winner. And yeah, look, he brings always brings his A game, and uh, he plays a uh, deputy sheriff in this uh, from Kern County who goes to the city to deal with some evidence uh, gathering sort of assignments for his boss, and he he gets. He gets drawn back into the the um, his old job, which is you know trying to find serial killers, and he's a, he was a detective, and uh, so one one of the his past sort of uh, his past uh, what would you call it? One of his past cases was a serial killer, um, and our our character played by Ray, Rainy Malik. Jim Baxter, he's leading this investigation um, in the big city in LA and he sort of uh, coaxes Joe Deacon to come back and help him because he likes the way he does things he, he, um, he's interested in him and um, Jim Baxter is played by Rainy Malik and you've seen him in Night at the, Mu Night at the Museum Mr. Robot TV show Papillon um, remake Bohemian Rhapsody, Freddie Mercury, and No Time to Die. He was a bad, bad guy. So yeah, we have Rainy Malik in this as our lead detective in the in the serial killer case. And um, yeah, I feel like Re Rainy Malik was miscast in this. Um, he, I just when I see him now, I see Freddie Mercury for some reason. And uh, but yeah, he's. Uh, he doesn't really. I don't. Th I don't think he's the, he was the right guy for the job in this. He's a good actor, of course he is, but it just he just didn't seem to work in this, um, which is a shame, because. Uh, but still, you know, watchable as always. Um, Jared Leto, he plays our suspect in the serial. As I said, this is a spoiler, spoiler, um, spoiler video. So. You know, tune out, tune out quick. And Jared Leto plays Albert Sparma. He's our suspect. Um, so our character Joe Deacon, um, you know, he's the he's the main guy to find find this suspect. And uh, Jared Leto, you've seen in Fight Club, American Psycho, Requiem for a Dream, Panic Room, Lord of War, Dallas Buyers Club, Suicide Squad, Blade Runner. Um, the recent one, 2049, House of Gucci, Morbius. So look, hit and miss with Jared Leto, 
obviously from what I said there, some stuff some stuff he sort of, you know, he's great in, some stuff doesn't work out for him. But always watchable. Apart from House of Gucci, that was a tough watch. And uh yeah, he plays a very sinister sort of um very clever, sinister suspect in this that the guys are trying to you know, they're trying to pin it's cat and mouse, they're trying to pin the case on him. Uh Deacon or Deke has a you know he, he's getting the vibe that this guy is is his man, is the guy to do it, and you know, he's trying they're trying to pin pin it on him, they're trying to find evidence, they're trying to they're following him. Um you know, we're we're, le we're left with this sort of you know, will they will they get this guy? Because he seems like the guy that has uh, you know, committed the crime, the he's the serial killer. Um and yeah, Leto is very very um you know, sinister in this, he looks the part, he uh yeah, he's a decent decent um, performance in this and uh yeah, I mean Denzel Washington great as this burnt out sort of um deputy sheriff he's got a he's got a past that we is reveals um um you know that uh, his life has been sort of torn apart by his his job and uh he's he's sort of he's living away from LA now he's he's got an easier job but um his past sort of his past trials with the job with not finding the, this killer that he had to deal with years five years earlier has left left him uh, you know real sort of broken and uh and probably his his life he's lost his wife he's he's, he's estranged from his uh, kids so yeah he sort of bonds with uh jim baxter and jim baxter bonds with him and he need, needs all the help he can get and um yeah but uh deacon wants to you know he wants to break the rules a bit he wants to uh you know he wants to cut corners he wants to he wants to just i think he feels that if he gets albert sparma it can make amends for his past and um so yeah you're sort of it's a sort of a gray territory here with our hero and um, denzel washington and he tries to drag uh, Jim Baxter into the into his sort of way of doing things and um, so yeah maybe you're not rooting as much for the heroes as you should be which is disappointing um, this is John Lee Hancock's first time directing or, or going into this territory of serial killer uh, you know crime and uh, yeah I don't think it works completely it doesn't work work well for him it uh, the the ending is very unsat I found this unsatisfying. Um like you you'd love to know for for definite if Albert Sparma was the guy. Um you know and and uh that you have the right that they have the right man and um you don't get that sort of feeling that uh I didn't like the way Denzel Washington I suppose Denzel Washington gives a uh, Jim Baxter, a bit of hope that uh, that Albert Sparma was the man by leaving by sending him the hair clip, and uh, yeah, the ending, you know, it's, it's left a bad taste in the mouth because you know maybe Albert Sparma wasn't the guy, and uh, but uh, you know, the sort of we have grey territory here i suppose sending him the hair clip made jim baxter feel a lot better about uh just moving on with his life because um he accidentally kills him kills albert sparma in anger with a shovel and uh yeah so i suppose with what happened to uh joe deacon in the past he's trying to help um you know rainy malik cover up his tracks and cover up the crime because he committed a crime earlier five years earlier that uh, the department covered up he accidentally shot a victim of uh you know in the forest of a serial killer so yeah it's i mean for me i think i, I yeah i i sort of prefer that maybe you know 
we figure we're figuring out how you know who's the bad guy and we have a definite sort of uh, villain so that's something different about this and interesting this you know there's a it's it's all sort of it's not black and white it's gray and we haven't got a def definitive villain and um just because this albert sparm is creepy and you know he's got a you know he's a sinister sort of guy but that does that mean that the, he should be you know treated the way they treat him and uh so yeah the little things two hours eight minutes uh it went pretty fast you know it didn't drag too much um and yeah what did you think of us let me know leave a comment down below and um yeah the little things a bit disappointing for me considering the talent involved and um yeah so that's been that's been my review of the little things thanks for joining me on fred mcguffin reviews Oh, Fred McGuffin's reviewed The Little Thing.